friends, today I'm finally gonna do my birthday book haul. So I bought some things for myself for my birthday. I got a gift card and bought some things with that. I got some things from Melanie and I also got a 10 euro off thing from Medimops for my birthday. So I was just like accumulating books for weeks. <laughs> For weeks after my birthday because I just wanted to make sure that I use all of the like stuff that I get from companies as well because it was my birthday and so today more than four weeks after my birthday I'm finally doing my birthday book haul I think I'm gonna do my used books from Medimops then I'm gonna do what Melanie got me and then I'm gonna get to all of the new books some new releases and just some other books just all over really really exciting stuff so Let's get started with my Midi Mops used book haul. You all know I love Midi Mops, and I'm gonna say it until one day they sponsor me. But yeah, as I said, they sent me like a 10 euro off thing for my birthday, and I was like, <laughs> I need to make use of that. So I have two other things first, actually. Oh yeah, I actually got two other things uh, right for my birthday because the Cruel Prince by Holly Black was available used and so I bought this like two days or so before my birthday and got it like the day after my birthday so this was kind of like an actual birthday present to me I just could not you know could not not buy it as it was available used because I obviously really fallen in love with this series so I just really wanted a physical copy and when I saw that it was available for cheap around my birthday I was like that's this is my chance it obviously has the really beautiful thing on the naked hat bag and yeah i just really wanted this and then when i bought that i also bought a darien by cf golden this is the first book in a i think ya fantasy series uh i think it's like like a YA Game of Thrones. That's all I know about it. I could be like, I'm really excited about this, but this is generally one of those books that I bought because it was available and cheap. And I'm like, that's gonna take a while until I read it. Like it's pretty low on my priority list. So these are actually two books that I bought around my birthday. And then last week I got an order in that I did with the 10 euro off thing. So, oh my God, there's so much exciting stuff in here. Where do I even begin? Okay, let's start with this one. This is In the After by Demetri Dem Demetria Lunetta. This is the first book in a duology and Trina from Between Chapters recommended this in a video just the other day. And I thought it sounded really interesting and like something that I hadn't really read much in the last couple of years, basically. I have forgotten what it's about. And I think this is very good proof for how things Things that I put on my wish list will usually be books that I have definitely heard someone talk about or I have read the synopsis of but I literally forget so fucking fast this is like because the that video happened just a couple of weeks ago and I do not know anymore what this book is about I just know that it's not really good I think it's kind of like a fast-paced read it's a very floppy paperback then I have Big Bones by Laura Dockrell this is a UK YA release but I know that this comes out in the US sometime soon and it has a different title and I keep forgetting that title but you know this definitely comes out in the US as well this is definitely about a fat girl this has a fat girl protagonist and something about a food diary I'm guessing there is a romance in there just a good old fluffy white contemporary with a fat girl love it then I have oh Finally, I have Allied by Amy Tentera. This is the third and final book in the Ruined trilogy, which if you haven't seen my top books of the year, the first two books in the trilogy were on that list, but I hadn't read Allied yet because I couldn't find the audiobook anywhere except for buying it on Audible, which I didn't want to do. So now I finally have a physical copy. I am so, so excited because I think this could totally end up being one of my favorite trilogies of all time. I listened to the first two on audio and I just kind of want to read both books in physical form and then get to this final one. I'm just pretty sure I'm gonna love this. Looking at how I felt about the first two books, I really just hope this doesn't let me down. But uh, yeah, I just, oh, I'm so excited to finally, finally finish this trilogy. Except for I have to reread the other two books first, which uh, that definitely makes it a little bit harder to actually do the thing, doesn't it? Next I have... The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. I read this years ago in German. I remember I borrowed it from a friend and I really loved it. And I never got a physical copy because for years I wanted this physical copy 
but I was never ready to pay the money for it. It's not like it's like a super fancy, expensive special edition. I was just always like, I don't want to pay the money. So when I saw that it was available used in very good quality, which it is very good quality, it looks basically almost perfect for like a much cheaper price <laughs> than uh, buying it new. I was just like, this is my moment. I'm buying it. And I'm so happy. I'm so happy I finally have a physical copy. I'm so happy I have the copy of my dreams. And can we just talk about the fact that this illustration is beautiful and filled with so many details. Look at little smog up there. <laughs> it's just, oh, it makes me so happy. This is the 17th anniversary edition and I'm just so glad I finally own this. Oh, I'm just so happy and I want to try and reread this soon. This also has some colored illustrations in there. There. So yeah, a reread for this is on the horizon because as I said, when I originally read it, I read it in uh, German. So I have never read it in English. So that alone is the reason for a reread. Next I have Onyx and Ivory by Mindy Arnett. This is a book that came out last year and I actually had an arc of it. I have a review for that. So I'm going to leave a link to that in the info card, in the description and in the info card. That's how it's supposed to be done. I really, really liked it. I didn't like love, love it, but I liked it and I'm definitely wanting to continue the series. And I also really like this cover. So I decided to get myself a copy. And once again, this was like really cheap for this beautiful book in really good condition. And then when I actually unboxed this, I saw that it had black sprayed edges and I about lost my shit. I did an unboxing on uh, Instagram. <laughs> so if you have seen that, you know that I was like so excited. And the fact that the actual hardcover is white and then the black sprayed edges, something about it really, it's so satisfying to me. It's so satisfying to me. I don't know what it is. So I was so excited that I got a physical copy of this because I didn't expect it to be this beautiful but now I'm so glad that I own it and it's also gonna make me feel like more motivated to pick up the sequel sometimes I can be slacking a little bit with the sequels if I'm not like super super excited so this is definitely a good reminder but I also know that the sequel already has a title and a cover and I actually really love that cover as well and it definitely has me pretty excited so anyway the final book that I have from Midi Mobs is <laughs> Shades of Light by V. Schwab. This is the third book in the Shades of Magic trilogy in the French editions. It's just another beautiful cover. I just love their whole design. I haven't even looked at the inside design yet. They always reflect the kind of patterns that are on the outside. They always reflect that in the inside design as well, which I absolutely love. These are just brilliantly, like brilliantly designed. I just love this so much. And now I have the full trilogy in the French editions and it's my fifth set of the trilogy, which realizing that, you know I'm judging myself. I've said it time and time again. So yeah, these were all of my Medium Ops books. Now let's get into what Melanie got me for my birthday. And you know I love Melanie with my whole heart. Uh, I know I'm probably getting repetitive and annoying, but like literally I feel so much love for her every day. So I want to express it in every video. <laughs> and the first book you might have already seen if you saw my TBR or my Balancing the Books, she sent me her arc of Again But Better by Christine Riccio, which blew my mind. I literally could not believe it. Once again, she's left her sticky tabs in there, which I always love. And it is also fucking signed. Like, can we talk about this? Can we talk about the fact that I have a book signed by Christine Riccio? Literally one of the reasons why I started my booktube channel fucking six years ago. Like, that, it, it, I'm gonna cherish this arc forever. And I'm just so thankful that Melanie sent it to me. I cannot wait to read and review it. I'm so interested to see what I think of it. I think it's gonna be a wild ride, but just as, as a thing, even if I might not enjoy it just as a thing. This is so special to me for so many reasons. And then she also got me the 10th anniversary edition of City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. Now, if you don't know Melanie, she read all of the Shadowhunter books 
last year and she really kind of fell in love with the world and the characters and everything and she's just my favorite shadow hunter trash <laughs> and i buddy read like some of the books with her i was like part of this journey for a lot of it like she snapped me so many of her thoughts reading clockwork princess for the first time and just oh my god i'm this is nostalgic <laughs> makes me feel things but yeah so uh i actually got her this edition for christmas and then i kind of i kept saying like i can't believe i got you this edition and i don't even own it myself like what the fuck like it's so beautiful and i guess <laughs> then melanie was like oh you know what i'm just gonna give it to her as well and this has golden sprayed edges and there's like illustrations in it i kind of don't want to show these illustrations to you but because i'm like i don't want to like spoil the illustrations for you i'm just going to show you the ones that are on the end pages and the ones that are inside are kind of that style as well it's so goddamn beautiful and even the chapter headers have like little illustrations this is just unbelievable i just i it's beautiful it's so fucking beautiful and i'm just so happy and it's just another thing that i will cherish forever and it will just always remind me of melanie in so many ways so yeah again melanie you know i love you and i'm so thankful for you and for these amazing gifts and just thank you so much i'm gonna stop being whew, sappy now and just gonna continue with the new books that i got for myself oh this is another one where i'm like where do i even start okay let's start with the wicked king by holly black obviously after buying the crow prince i also had to get myself a copy of the wicked king and i just couldn't wait to buy this use because this is just literally such an amazing book and also i uh, buddy read this with buddy reread this with melanie and i wanted to have a physical copy for that so yeah i have this and this also has something beautiful on the naked book i love that so much like that just is another thing that's just so satisfying and yeah i just i'm really really in love with this trilogy cannot wait for the final book which it's just a year away it's fine you know what i mean like it's totally fucking fine then i have the last of august and the case for jamie both by Brittany cavallero i read a study in charlotte in january and loved it so much that i had to get these immediately and they were like super cheap for being hard covers i was like <laughs> i need to buy those so that's what i did i have already read the last of august i will have already talked about this in my mid-month wrap up all i know is that i love this series and the final book comes out in march so uh, i love everything like and i love the the the, the covers and the, just the whole design and i am obsessed with the series like i did not think I would love this series as much as I do. And then I obviously pre-ordered King of Scars by Lee Bardugo. I finally have this. This took forever to get to me because pre-orders here, you know, it's not, it's, it's not, it's not that great. Uh, but I finally have this. Another book that is really fucking gorgeous under its dust jacket. I can't even believe it and I already read this I talked about this in my January wrap-up I didn't love it that's all I'm gonna say I just I really wasn't a fan but I'm having high hopes for the sequel and then another pre-order that I had was Courting Darkness by Robin Lefevers my most anticipated release of the year by the time you're seeing this video I will have finished this there's just something about this series and the way Robin Lefevers writes it's just so good and she tackles so many topics and like there's a lot of dark things in there but she just does it in a way that's just incredibly well done i just and it's another absolutely beautiful book i kept touching it when i first unboxed it because it's it feels so nice it's like a buttery cover which so many of you are new you will never have heard me talk about buttery covers but if you own the hardcover of the fifth wave by rick yancey for example that's a buttery cover and this one is a buttery cover as well and it's just overall really beautiful and what i really love about well first of all deckled edges which i'm a huge fan of if you don't know i don't know why people complain about it i don't know why like able-bodied people shit on deckled edges like how do you turn your pages i'm sorry i don't i don't get it but i also love like obviously i love whenever it has anything <laughs> on the naked hardback the spine but um just like simple things like that are really really great as well and the fact that it like 
you know, kind of reflects the sword that's on the cover. So satisfying. And then because I got this, I also decided to get the whole His Fair Assassin trilogy in these new editions that match with the new duology. I actually own the first book in a UK paperback with the old cover. So it was really time for me to, you know, get a full set of this trilogy anyway. So this was just the perfect opportunity. So we have the first one, Grave Mercy. We have the second one, Dark Triumph. And the third one, Mortal Heart. And if you don't know, I love this series so, so much. Like, one of my favorite trilogies, for sure. And I'm just so glad we're getting more in this world and more of these characters. And I'm so glad that I own this set. And I want to reread these super soon because there's a lot in these books and there's a lot to take in. So I really want to just dive into these again. I do wish they had published these in hardcovers because then I could actually uh, match them with this one, you know? But... Well, you can't have it all. You can't have it all. Anyway, I don't think I'm gonna do this. My life is very stressful and I'm like, is this the additional stress? This is freaking me out. I wish you could see this. Um, this is definitely the biggest stack in a while, but it's because it was my birthday. <laughs> and thank God I've read a lot of these already. Like, should we, should we count? Let's do it. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Did I count correctly? I always find it hard to count in English. I'm sorry. But out of the eighteen ones, I've read one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven and a half. So I read more than a half of this stack. That's very good. Okay, friends, let's do it. Oh my, no, I can't do it. Oh my God, oh my God, no. Mm -mm. I literally, how, how? No, it's not gonna, it's not even gonna fit into, you know what? I'm just gonna say goodbye from this position um, cause I'm just, I'm not gonna drop this and then pick it back up to do a thumbnail. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this book haul. Um, let me know if there's anything in here that you love or hate or that you want me to read super soon. And yeah, I make new videos every Wednesday and Sunday with occasional reviews on Friday. So click subscribe to never miss anything and hit the little bell so you get notified as well. And thank you so, so much for watching. I guess I'll see you soon. Bye! Holy shit. I'm moving very soon. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. That's it. That's the thumbnail, my friends. That's it. That's it. Oh, 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 oh no.